everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how you can make buttons and icons using Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay, so they're quite simple to do. Um, simply, on your Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, you go to the Insert option at the top there, and we'll be working on these two tools here, Shapes and Icons. I'm going to start with Shapes. I'm going to click in there, and you'll see that Microsoft PowerPoint has actually quite a large um, variety of different shapes to choose from. For example, you can have a rectangle, a circle shape, or a rounded rectangle shape. Now, these are the most common types of shapes that are used to create buttons and icons. So I'm going to click on the rectangle, I'm going to drag it on, and then I am able to change the format or format the rectangle. So there's different things I can do. I can choose from these preset options, and you can see down there that these ones actually start to look a little bit sort of 3D, got a bit of a 3D um, bevel and emboss to them, and I'm going to choose maybe that one. Um, that in itself is quite a nice button, um, that looks lovely. Right, I could though decide to create my own theme. So maybe on my plan I have very specific colours that I want to use and maybe they're not here, they're not in these options. Okay, so if that's the case, what you do is you click on your button and then you can modify it using these options. So for example, um, maybe on my plan I've got um, more of a, let's see, um, more fill colours, none of them are in there actually, a pinky colour. Alright, I'm going to press OK. Now, as you can see, because I chose that sort of option before, I've still got that little bit of shadow effect and that little bevel and emboss effect, so the, the effect's still on there. Okay. And then finally, what you do is to add your button text, oh, not move here, right click on it, and you'll be able to edit text so you can put your text on. So I've got a section in my presentation called What Can You Remember? So I'm going to add that on. And you can edit the text if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it bigger by highlighting it and then this little tool pick, um, comes up. And if you wanted to, you could edit it to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, change the font style, font colour, exactly like it says on your plan. Okay. Once you're happy with that, you can then insert more buttons. So I'm going to go back in here, go to shapes, and this time I'm going to, I would make sure that you always have the exact same one, okay? Um, but I'm just going to show you what other options there are. So for example, there is a rounded rectangle in there. So if you drag that on, you can see that that one has more of a rounded shape. And as you can see, it's defaulted back to the default setting of that sort of bluey colour. But I'm going to apply this formatting onto this shape in a very easy straightforward way rather than going into these options again I'm going to do that by clicking on that first button I'm going to go up here to my home tab and I'm going to choose that tool there that's the format painter tool that copies the formatting on that button so I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click on this other button and you can see that it's applied the formatting to this button I can right click I can edit text and I can start adding my text. The text is the same colour, the same size, the same style as the one that's on that one. So they're all exactly the same. Okay, right. What about though, if I wanted exactly the same buttons? So an easy way to do this is to just have, click on the one that you've already made and press Control C on your keyboard, click off it and press Control V as many times as you need the button. I would advise you doing this if you have on your plan maybe a series of buttons that are all lined up together so that they are all exactly the same size, okay? Consistency is important when you're, you're thinking of professional design. Right, I now have three buttons. I can double click and change the text to those to be um, what I need. So on my plan, this next button has meet the characters. Okay, and this next one is something else. Okay, so you get the idea. Right, I'm going to show you now how to make icons. So I'm over on here on the meet the characters slide and I'm going to go back to insert and this time I'm going to go to icons, not shapes. Microsoft PowerPoint has a whole bunch of icons built into its library, loads and loads and loads, far more than Google Slides. You can search the library or you can just click through. It even has an interface section, which is brilliant if you're creating an interface because it has your, your sort of your forward and your back buttons. Um, but if I type in things like home, it will bring up um, a whole bunch of icons to do with the home. And I'm looking for 
one that is like a house. So that one does look a little bit like a house. It's got this little Wi-Fi symbol on it though, which I don't like. I wonder if I type in house, it will give me just a house. Let's see. Give it a few seconds. Oh, then much better. Okay. So really, I just want a simple house to take me back to the home. That one looks perfect. So I'm going to click on that one, insert, and there I have a little house button, which is um, a very recognisable, sorry, a house icon, which is a very recognisable icon um, that users will recognise to take you back to the home page. Right, it's set defaulted to this black colour, but again, I'm going to click back on my first slide. I'm going to click on that button there, and I'm going to choose the, click on the format painter tool to, to select the formatting. Click on that slide, and then click on that button there. So, sorry, I keep calling it a button, but icon there. And you can see that it's um, added that formatting to that little house button. This is this is to try and speed up you creating very consistent. Um, buttons and icons across all your slides okay so you're not having to go into those options again and again and again make sure that once you're happy with one and it's important that once you're happy with one you, you know you spend some time on your first one you can then apply the formatting to all of your others I'd like you to have a little play first with all the different options so it doesn't matter if your buttons don't match because I want you to play around with all the different options and create a selection of different buttons and icons so that you can see what the software can do Okay, everybody, have fun!